Hello everybody, Mad Cat Sphere here, and I want to talk about a little bit more of um, psychonesis and get more deep into uh, understanding of uh, what it means to do it for yourself. Like when I said in the video, I said that you have to do psychonesis and prove it to yourself first. That's the most important thing, and it is. It is the most important thing. But to get into it more deeper and to give you a better example of that, I'll give you two examples of that. And that is, it's like um, being a child. Like when you're a child, you enjoy the company of yourself um playing by yourself playing in a sandbox by yourself and playing with your toys by yourself and you get a you get caught up in your own imagination and your own creation with creating a, a scene or a situation with your toys or you know with the dirt or clay or whatever like you're in the sandbox by yourself and uh as we get older we, we forget <clears throat> that simplicity you know that that uh that uh, um that childlike innocence that allows you to enjoy the company of yourself being alone by yourself <clears throat> and we forget that psychokinesis requires for you to go back to that innocent state of being in the company of yourself and enjoying the company of yourself being alone playing you know, because with psychonesis, what it is that, you know, um, it needs for you to enjoy what you're doing, to be genuine and honest to yourself. Psychonesis requires you to be totally involved in, in, in what you're doing for yourself, by yourself. Because what it is, is that, um, you know, when you're playing with your toys as a kid, you get caught up so deep into the storyline of, you know, let's say that you had a Ninja Turtle and a G.I. Joe. The G.I. Joe dies and Ninja Turtle cries, you know, you, uh, you you put some emotion into that scene. And so you feel involved and engaged, you know, you, you make it emotionally enthralling. So you begin, you begin to be sad. And, and what it is that it requires you to be that brutally honest. You know, you're enjoying, you're enjoying creating this fake situation, this fake scene between the Ninja Turtle and G.I. Joe, but you're emotionally devoted to what is happening and you're focused, you're genuine, you're honest, and you're earnest. Child, childishly, earnest, honest, and genuine. You're in there, you know, so you make it real. And psychonesis requires you to be involved for you alone, for you to entertain you, to entertain yourself. And another example is like this. Let's say that you're an entertainer <coughs> and, um, and, and psychokinesis requires you to be this entertainer that needs to enter, uh, entertain the audience, but the audience is you. So what it is is that you're both the entertainer and the audience. You're both two facets of two things happening at once. You're the entertainer entertaining and proving to the audience and the audience is looking skeptical at you learning and watching you. So you're watching you. You are watching you. You know, you have to become um, two things. You have, like I said about the uh, about the, uh, the the other video, you have to become the teacher and the student. When you're the entertainer, you have to be the audience. When you're the child, you have to be devoted to the situation. You, you, psychokinesis requires because you're by yourself, you're alone. Only you can make these things happen, and you, oh, and only you will be able to to understand the intricacies. Of when you're developing your ability you know you cannot uh, have in your subconscious mind that you're trying to show off to your girlfriend or show off to a girl or show off to your father or mother or your brother or your friends you can't have that show off to yourself prove it to yourself be the audience looking at you and be the entertainer entertaining the audience you're both bouncing back you're, you have to be enclosed and encapsulated totally enclosed and entrapped and encapsulated in your own and, and, and the world of you, you're the you're the director, you're the writer, you're the actor. You know, you, you, you it's all you, 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 you. You know, you have to prove it to yourself, but you have to learn, learn for yourself. You have to be the teacher and the students, <clears throat> and, and 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 you have to be the entertainer, and you have to also be the, the audience watching the entertainer. So you're you're the entertainer, entertaining the audience, and the and you're, and you're the audience watching and being entertained by the entertainer. So you have to be you. You have to be totally enclosed within yourself to prove it to yourself. You're the teacher teaching, and you're the student learning. You're the you're you're the you're you're the entertainer entertaining, and you're the audience being entertained. And you're the child in a sandbox, um, playing with these two toys, being totally involved, encapsulated, 
creating this world with these two um, um, fake objects, inanimate objects, and you're creating this thing to make it real. Psychonesis requires you to be totally encapsulated onto yourself, where you know you create the echo, and the wall that bounces off the echo back to you, you are the wall bouncing off the echo. You're the person creating the echo, the echo is you, and you're the wall that bounces the echo back to you. You're encapsulated and entrapped in your own self. You have to pr prove it to yourself, and that's how psychonesis, that's what psychonesis requires from you. You have to be doing it for yourself, and you have to be um, proving it for yourself, and you have to be totally encapsulated in your own world. You have to become excited. You have to be the audience being enthralled and excited in this and and the object moving before your eyes. You have to be you have to be totally focused and and um totally uh um totally engaged as an entertainer entertaining the audience. You're working hard to entertain, but you're also it, the the audience being entertained by the entertainer. You 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 have to create this kind of thing where you are you're bouncing off everything and you are everything all at once. You know, you're looking at the mirror and you're staring at yourself and yourself is staring at you. You know, you're, you're, you are teaching you and you are listening to you. You're teaching you and you're listening to you. So that, that's what psychonesis is an internal self-development, psychological self-development, emotional self-development, spiritual self-development. It isn't just about moving an object. It's about developing and, 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 and understanding yourself alone by yourself to to better yourself you 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 it's all you but not to be egotistic not to be selfish not to know because you cannot do it if you're like that you have to be honest brutally honest to yourself real to yourself you have to be earnest to yourself you have to be meek and genuine to yourself genuine you can't fake the funk to yourself because only because when you fake the funk, you know you're faking the funk because you're faking you. You can't fake you because you know that you're faking you. You can't fake yourself because you know that you're not doing the right thing. You can't lie to yourself. Psychonesis requires you to be honest and not lie to you and to teach you while you learn from you. So that's what psychonesis is. So like that's the biggest thing about psychonesis is that Yes, you know, well, how do you move the object? Well, you know, the thing is, though, is that you have to anticipate the object moving. You have to allow the object to be in a state where you're engaged with the object and you feel as though the object can move in all directions at any time, but without stepping in or hindering or trying to uh, trying to stop the object from, not, no, don't force it anywhere, just allow and feel it that it can go anywhere and it will move. You have to be engaged. You have to mess around with the object a little bit with your hands. You have to visualize the object moving in your mind. But as you look, and then when you come back to move, move the object, you uh, you let your subconscious do the work. You don't your immediate thoughts is not what moves it. It's your previous thoughts. It's your subconscious thoughts that make it move. <clears throat> and that's the only way is that by being the entertainer, being the audience, being uh, the child playing with the toys, you have to be honest to yourself. You know, you're bouncing back feedback to you. You know. You're the you're the you're the man that's lost at sea sending a message in a bottle to a person across across the globe so they can help you, which is you. So you're the man lost sending a message to a person, the rescuer, which is you. You're sending the ob you, you're sending a message being lost to a rescuer that's you. You are the lost person and you are the rescuer and you are the message. You are the you are the ocean and you are the the sand and you are the sky and you are the sun. You are all of that. You have to be you have to play this role of being in mystery of what is going on. Um, don't over acknowledge what is happening around you or else everything will collapse. You have to be in a perfect balance of being in in uh and um and acknowledging what is happening but not over acknowledging you have to be in mystery of yourself. You have to, all those things, you know. So that's the thing, is that you, you, that's what psychonesis is, and that's the best advice I can give you. And I hope that it helps you guys. I hope you guys understand. Thank you guys for watching this Mad Cat Sphere.